The case of a man who died from injuries that he sustained at the Erie County Holding Center is moving forward. Attorneys say new videos expose more inconsistencies in the story that corrections officers are telling. News 4's Dave Graber is here to show us the footage you'll see only on 4 tonight. Dave? Well, Don and Jackie, a decision about whether to order a district attorney outside of Erie County to reopen the investigation into the death of Richard Metcalf Jr. has been pushed back to Wednesday. In the meantime, we're getting our first look inside the holding center on the night that corrections officers used force to restrain the 35 Five year old Metcalf. The video you're about to see offers another contrast between what corrections officers at the holding center say happened that night and what actually happened. Exclusive video obtained by News 4 shows the moments after Richard Metcalf Jr. takes what the state of New York describes as a brutal beating at the hands of holding center corrections officers. The video from security cameras inside the holding center show Metcalf being taken from the medical area of the jail to the garage where an ambulance is waiting. And we have an individual who had been severely beaten, was placed on his stomach, and then the EMTs were denied access to that individual. The commission's report states EMTs asked corrections officers to remove the pillowcase from Metcalf's head and turn him onto his back so they could assess him. Those requests were denied. Why would that request be denied? It was those deputies, those very same deputies, that called for the EMTs, that called for their assistance. And once they got there, they then, were, they then were summarily denied access to, to young Richard. The report also shows corrections officers told authorities that Metcalf was, quote, yelling and moving during the entire transport to the ambulance. There's no audio associated with these files, but clearly Metcalf isn't moving. I think what we have is we have inconsistencies uh, that were made by statements of those who were involved that night, but the video clears those up. Attorneys for Erie County haven't spoken publicly since our stories appeared in October. Attorney Jennifer Persico says the investigation by state police and the decision by then DA Frank Sedita not to pursue criminal charges speaks volumes. Persico says the sheriff's office continues to support those involved and that they will vigorously defend their actions in court. It's now believed the case would be moved further from Erie County than Niagara County, which was initially discussed because of a potential conflict in their office. I talked to the county DA, Caroline Wotasik, and she told me earlier this afternoon that a conflict does indeed exist within her office. And as a result, if this case is moved out of Erie County to be reinvestigated, it will not be happening in Niagara County. Again, that final decision is expected on Wednesday. Live in the studio, Dave Graber, News 4 at 5.